It would have been the Merseyside derby today. Liverpool are taking on Everton. Liverpool, of course, have dominated their city rivals over recent years. We've got two gentlemen who know about this very well. We'll speak of Don in a moment, but Stevie, you think Merseyside derby, you think oh. surely the 86 Cup final. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Look at Is that Gary Lineker in there with you? Yeah, well, well, at, at that time, this is probably the finest team that, that Everton's had, arguably, um, for a three-year spell. I mean, it was just nip and tuck between the two of us. Yeah. We, we actually pipped them the week before that cup final for the league. And, of course, that FA Cup final, we ended up pipping them as well, so... Yeah. That was the 3-1 I was saying before, wasn't it? That's the rush goal that hits the camera in the back camera and knocks it corner. over. Yeah, it's absolutely perfect. Now, what's interesting about this that most people won't know is what happened after the game. Mm. Well, it's, it's kind of a typical situation where people who are not football people make decisions. And the politicians in Liverpool decided that regardless of what happened, both sides would travel back together and would go on the parade in Liverpool together. Ah. So, yeah. <laughs> so both teams got mixed up with the husband, the, the, the players and the wives. Right. You know, half our team was on one plane, half ours was on the wrist plane. The same with them. So, of course, we're, we're still hung over from the night before after winning. Yeah. And they're, of course, they're, you've got to scrape them off the floor. But then we get back to Liverpool Airport. We get on a bus. <laughs> they go to the parade. And we've got the league. And we've got the FA Cup. The second bus, which is about 40 yards behind us, is the Everton players with, their, again, their heads down, and they have to go through half a million people in Liverpool, split <laughs> all between, between Liverpool fans and Everton fans, out. and they had to go all the way through Liverpool. Wow. And of course, we're like this. Hey! <laughs> Trophies and everything. Hey! They, like, they were all like that. Yeah, how's it gone? How intense is the rivalry, Stevie? How would you describe it? Do you know what, it's, the Merseyside rivalry is, it, it's like a family at war, is what it is, for a period of time. It's like two brothers or a brother and sister having an argument, and then eventually it's like back to normal. Right. That's what it is. It's yeah. not, it's not the, the vitriol and the hatred of a Liverpool Man United. Yes, there's that, there's that desire to win, but it's like a family thing. It's not, it's not, it's, yeah. there's no hatred in it whatsoever. And it's not like a Celtic Rangers rivalry. No. You haven't got the political, the religious edge to it either. There is... I, I, don't, I don't believe, and maybe Gab, of all people, if there is one, will tell me, I don't believe there's another derby in the world right. where both sets of fans actually sit intermingled all mm -hmm. the way around the stadium and there's never any trouble. Uh, Don, as I mentioned before, of course, knows what it's like to play for Liverpool, but... For Everton as well. Quite a unique factor. There he is. Oh, he's diving, is what he's he doing. <laughs> I know I die when I see one. <laughs> um, Don, what was it like playing for both teams? How much stick did you get from from Everton? Well, from Liverpool fans when you went to Everton? Yeah, it was it wasn't actually too bad. Um, my memories, um, I don't know if Stevie played in the game in uh, 92. I was playing for Liverpool at the time. And I don't know if Stevie played in the game when Mo Johnson and Peter Beardsley scored for Everton and they beat us 2-1 at Goodison. Uh, and then obviously you had the 4-4, the famous 4-4 when Kenny resigned days later. But my selfish memory, and Ali will probably like this one, going on a selfish tangent, was I am the last Everton skipper to take his side to Anfield and win. And that was in 1998, 22 years. Wow. It's not been good for Everton. In 22 years, they've not won at Anfield. Scandalous. <laughs> you know what Don do, does whenever they go and play at Anfield now? He is rooting against Everton. Yeah, of course, because he can still <laughs> He's still the guy. He can still I'm be still that. the captain. Yeah. Who do you support, Tom, when they face off against each other? Oh, no, massively on the fence. Rubbish. Mm. You must massively have someone that you support. No. If you had to push me and I really had to lean towards one, it would be Everton because I captained Everton. So I've got a oh, real... You nah. you know, I, love my, I love my time at Liverpool. <laughs> No, I did. I loved my time at Liverpool, no. but I was a youngster. I was a teenager. I didn't know what I was doing. Stevie will vouch for that. Then when I got older and I got a little bit more wiser and more responsible, um, I captained Everton for... Well, I was there for four years. So I think I captained them for about two years. So, yes, yeah, if you had to push me and you really did, I'd lean towards Everton. And, and did yeah, you know that they went into Anfield and won when he was did a captain? Did you boys that Don, Don uh, used to captain Everton? Yes, yes, yeah. he was Have you, have you heard that? I'm, yeah. I'm surprised at that. I thought he would have said Liverpool. Yeah, well, of course you would. <laughs> 
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.